Hi, I'm Elliot Sohn. I'm a retina surgeon and scientist at the University of Iowa and the Wynn Institute for Vision Research. I'm an associate professor and also the director of the retina fellowships. So there are two main types of age-related uh, macular degeneration. The first form that everyone uh, kind of starts out with is the dry form, kind of an early dry form of macular degeneration. And that's really uh, kind of the default pathway for macular degeneration. Uh, there's a subset of patients who are going to go along a path to develop the more advanced form of dry macular degeneration, so-called uh, geographic atrophy. And that is a condition that results in uh, irreversible vision loss, um, is a quite slow process, um, and does not have a cure. The other pathway that someone could lose vision with macular degeneration is uh, uh, the wet form, uh, what's also called exudative age-related macular degeneration. Fortunately, uh, there are treatments for the wet form of age-related macular degeneration, which used to be quite scary for patients because that's the kind of vision loss that someone would experience quite rapidly as opposed to the dry form. So the people at biggest risk for AMD are those who are uh, above the age of 50 to 55. Um, and we know that patients uh, who have a family history of age-related macular degeneration also are at higher risk. Um, those who are smokers uh, and those who have uh, potentially uh, less than ideal diet uh, may also be at risk for age-related macular degeneration. So there's a lot of research going on uh, with age-related macular degeneration um, trying to prevent someone from developing either the end stage form of the dry or getting the wet are two main goals that we're trying to achieve here. We're doing that in a couple different ways. Um, I work with a great team of multidisciplinary scientists and clinicians who are engineers, laboratory scientists, statisticians, uh, geneticists, to really determine the genetic underpinnings of age-related macular degeneration. We're also looking to see how the blood supply for the retina, called the choroid, is damaged early in the process of macular degeneration and how that can progress and lead to uh, the late forms, uh, more concerning forms where someone loses vision uh, from macular degeneration. We're using sophisticated state-of-the-art algorithms similar to use in artificial intelligence to be able to look at individual layers of a patient's retina, a living patient's retina, compare that to a person without age-related macular degeneration to see what kind of risk that person has, as well as what are some of the genetic factors that predispose someone to have uh, changes in some of those layers in the retina compared to someone who doesn't uh, have macular degeneration. At the Wynn Institute for Vision Research, our primary goal is to be able to treat patients with uh, inherited retinal disease, whether it's a rare uh, cause like from retinitis pigmentosa or something more common like age-related macular degeneration. For people with relatively early disease, we've uh, found that gene therapy has a lot of promise, but those with late phases of disease where a lot of cells have been lost, uh, we're using induced pluripotent stem cells to replace the cells that are derived from that same patient, corrected for their genetic mutation to uh, deliver a treatment that will hopefully restore vision. Now all this stuff is going to be done in a way that the tools, the knowledge that we gain uh, from treating these rare inherited diseases should provide a foundation to be able to hopefully treat patients uh, with the more common form of macular degeneration, age-related macular degeneration. Our patients with macular degeneration are very fortunate. There are a couple medicines that are uh, very effective for treating the wet form. So even though these treatments are so effective, the new treatments that are coming out that are trying to compete with these old ones are having a hard time because the bar is set so high for the existing uh, treatments. But since these patients have to receive the injections every four to six weeks, we're looking at ways to deliver longer acting medicines or find medicines that can increase the duration of the medicines we currently have available. So there's gonna be a lot of new medications that will be at least tested in clinical trials over the next couple of years um, for the wet form of macular degeneration. For the dry form of macular degeneration, that's all stuff that we're doing in the laboratory. That's all um, uh, in clinical trials, but there's nothing out there yet to be able to treat someone with the dry form of macular degeneration. 
hopefully the treatments that we're developing at the Wynn Institute for Vision Research to repair someone's retina using their own uh, cells, in this case retinal cells derived from stem cells from that patient's body, we'll be able to apply that technology to patients with age-related macular degeneration to also restore vision in those who have lost.